Hello folks, welcome to another shaving video. It's been a uh, long time. Yeah, I'll leave the camera like that's kind of tilted. Get my drink. So I finally went and got the, uh, of course, being that it's, uh, let me get all the stuff over here. Being that it's a Labor Day weekend, uh, you know, a, a lot of websites and stuff have sales, you know, 10%, 15%, you know, free shipping here and there. So, so I was on, the, uh, on one of the websites and uh, they have the, uh, it's not the, it's just called One Blade. But this is One Blade Core. Here it is, it's got a plastic head, a plastic shell with a metal rod that runs, that's, that's in the center for, to give it weight. And you can see the metal rod comes out the bottom here. And uh, I guess it does have these grooves on the side for you to hold, hold on to. But it's, uh, it does have some heft to it. It looks nice. It does look like a regular uh, disposable uh, razor. Uh, you know, with the plastic Bix and, uh, and plastic Gillette's you buy. And uh, you know, it comes with a, a stand. Uh, <clears throat> it uses the Feather FHS blades and uh, that upside down yeah that's correct of course the box is in all Japanese but you can it's basically this this color schemed looking box and uh, it's about yeah it, it, it comes with that there's ten blades and it's about three use three use per per blade uh, okay here it is this is of course my first use so I guess it's kind of a unboxing slash first use and uh, so I thought hey that that that's the same size as the DE uh, package. But anyways, here it is. It looks like a gem blade or, 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 a, or a, a, a DE blade with one, one, side, uh, uh, one side cut off. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, it does look like a, a small uh, paint scraper. So uh, yeah, and uh, I, I guess I read, you know, when I was first, Getting into DE shaving, a lot of people are saying, "Hey, man, check out the one blade, check out the one blade," because that's when when they were first coming out. And here's the box. Let me. <clears throat> it's it's is that is actually pretty darn fancy, uh, you know, orange inside. <clears throat> you know, it's got all this uh, stuff on the side. This is going into the recycle bin. Of course, it's got this. It's got this quick instruction manual. What's it got? There? And then we got this foam insert, and uh, it's like, wow, this is uh, really. And this wasn't expensive; it was like twenty something bucks, uh, like less than twenty five. It was like twenty four bucks for the uh, for the razor, including the stand and the ten blades. So, so it wasn't bad at all, price wise. I saw, say, hey man, shoot, you know. And the website is giving you know ten percent off. <clears throat> So to load it, to yeah, and like I said, it does look like a DE blade with one side having the uh, uh, the 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 blade chopped off, and then you have this uh, 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 dull cap put on. So technically, I guess you could. I don't know if you want to handle a because uh, because when, when you load it, you got to hold it on one side, the dull side. Then you push it in behind the see here. I can do this. It's supposed to click. There you go. There you go. Heard the click. And, and then when you take it off, you're supposed to grab here the uh, where the uh, metal is showing. And let me, let me give it a try. Pull it up. Whoop. Okay. There we go. And yeah, like that. So technically, I would say that yes, you probably could use a DE blade, <clears throat> but um, you know you uh, you probably going to cut yourself. So you or you know wear wear, wear some uh, those uh, <clears throat> anti cut leather uh, anti cut gloves. 
But then when you but then when you put it in, you gotta push. On the so anyways, I, I mean it, it, um, <clears throat> depending on the website you purchase it from, it, it's it's gonna cost you around around ten bucks. So it's like a dollar per blade. And and the thing with feather is that they they you know they also make these uh, <clears throat> artisan blades, and there's like ten different lines of the artisan blade. And depending on yeah, and those are like two inch. Uh, two to three inch long uh, 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 shaving blades and depending on which which razor you you buy and it's it, you know it, it use it they tell you you gotta use this particular you know feather artisan blade and and those will run you about two to three dollars per blade <clears throat> they're they're not cheap but uh, yeah I think I think I think the uh, blackland uh, has a uh, Razor that uses the artisan blade. Um, there's a few out there, but Blackland comes to mind. And uh, so today, I will be using the Declaration Grooming 1776. This is a, uh, a tallow base shaving soap. There it is. First use also. Uh, now, uh, scent wise, it's nothing to do backflips over. It is your generic, uh, soapy, fresh smell, uh, but uh, but of course it's it's but of course it's what Declaration Grooming puts in their uh, their shaving soap, which is you know, bison tallow. So, uh, okay, so it's S I E R O is is it pronounced Cyril? <coughs> Cyril? It's a some I guess it's some Latin word for 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 um, <coughs> for uh, for way. Uh, let's see. It's got um, let's see. It's got donkey milk, water buffalo milk, donkey milk whey. Well, yeah, water buffalo. I, I don't know where they're getting. Yeah, because because usually they use uh, bison, but but in this, um, <clears throat> I bought two of their uh, of their uh, water buffalo uh, um, base milk slash whey slash donkey milk slash <laughs> whey. Uh, <clears throat> But I don't know where they're getting water buffalo milk from. Uh, now the tallow, I believe, still comes from uh, bison. Let's see, uh, let's see, water buffalo milk, water buffalo milk whey, uh, potassium tallowate, sodium tallowate. See, uh, so the potassium seal butter. But yeah, there, there's a lot of goodness in this. See here, should be lanolin in there somewhere. Yep, there's lanolin at the end. It's hop, there's a yeah, there, there's hops extract. So I, I guess there's a. Now, yeah, supposedly hops. Uh, uh, I guess it's good for your face. It's, it's not just good for beer. And uh, it's made in USA. I think that, yeah, these guys are out of New Jersey. And uh, see here, yeah, there's the art cover. I like the art cover. But uh, if, if I were to make a, uh, yeah, but uh, so if, if I were to make a, a, uh, in the, you know, Declaration of Independence of 1776 based uh, uh, shaving soap, the scent wouldn't be, <clears throat> it's not a bad scent, like I said, it's nothing to do backflips over. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, so I, I wouldn't make it a soapy, a generic, fresh soapy scent. It, it would be, uh, <clears throat> you know, it would be more of a, 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 I can't describe the smell, but it'd be more of like an antique smell. Um, you know, if you've ever been to a library and you open up an old encyclopedia or an old book and you get that old book smell, <laughs> it would probably be, be something like that. Um, I guess most folks probably wouldn't like it. The closest I can, the closest I can, I can <clears throat> come to that scent would be Castile soap or, or or olive oil, the Greek olive oil soap. Those to me have that uh, antique. Um, yeah, I got some here. Right here, uh, you know, the Greek, <clears throat> the uh, made in Greece olive oil. 
or Castile soap. And uh, don't buy the ones that's made in Turkey. They smell different. <clears throat> oh, yes, another one. Well, yeah, I use these as, as hand soap. I don't use them as bath soap. Um, see here. Yeah, because I... Uh, because I get, I, get uh, I easily get uh, psoriasis, and these work really, really great um, <coughs> as as hand soaps. And uh, I don't get the little the little bumps on the back of my hand. I scratch them, then those little bumps turns into little little uh, 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 little uh, uh, scratches. And I keep scratching, and then the scratch turns to, to a big bruise. And uh, one year one year was so bad, both the back of my hand. It was like one big scab uh, down to my wrist. <laughs> uh, of course, went to the dermatologist. He's like, "Well, here's this uh, here's this hundred dollar uh, serum that you can use on uh, you know to, to heal your hand." So I was like, "Hey, doc, this this stuff is great, but uh, you know, uh, you know, well, what can I do that's not going to cost a hundred bucks for a little you know one ounce vial of uh, of this uh, fantastic serum?" And it was going to pause the video and uh, uh, lather up the uh, declaration. Oh, well, I just apologize. It's not declaration grooming. It is holy cow. So scratch that. It is holy cow, 1776. Uh, now, declaration grooming does also use bison tallow, by the way. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I just noticed the uh, little, little dinky holy cow uh, uh, emblem right there. And it says holy cow, my old eyes. Um, Missed it, so so uh, apologize. But it is holy cow. Yeah, I, I like Declaration Groom. I also like holy cow. I got some more Declaration Grooming soap coming in the mail, by the way. So uh, <clears throat> let me pause it, lather it up, and I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back. So uh, let's get the lather up. Let me wet my face. All right, so let's get it on. So again, I don't know where they're finding water buffalo milk. Maybe, I'm, I'm pretty sure there is a, a farm, or maybe a rancher who is, I guess, raising water buffalo. Uh, for water buffalo, you gotta go to Africa you know, or, or Asia. Uh, to uh, they're, they're not natural to the uh, U.S. Yeah, the way this does kind of rattle around in there. Is it in? Well, I heard the snap. So yeah, and the head does pivot. So uh, it's a spring in there. Uh, but yeah, this this should last you a lifetime. Um, if anything's gonna break, it's gonna be that 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 spring. Oh, okay. I did watch the video. It feels super mild. Doesn't feel like I'm getting my neck. Seriously. I can hear it slicing, slicing the whiskers. technique the blade is sharp but it's just like a DE blade they were saying hey no pressure let's just let it uh but this thing this thing does take quite some pressure to get the uh, blade to move
Nope, I didn't. I guess I could pause the video and go get a uh, laser to do the, uh, I guess, the, the unnecessary pass, but uh, I'll just do it with that. Yeah, and of course the um, the uh, stainless steel version is like three hundred ninety nine bucks. Uh, they now have a titanium version that's like a four hundred ninety nine bucks. And of course back then it's the same price. And I was like, hey, what is this one blade? Let me check it out. And I was like, oh man, forget it. <laughs> you know, three hundred ninety nine bucks. Um, you know, you can uh, you can count most of us out. Yeah, so basically it is a, uh, I guess it's kind of like a small gym uh, <laughs> razor. Doesn't feel, like I say, it does feel mild, does not feel aggressive, uh, but don't get down. If you are a seasoned DE shaver, <laughs> don't, get, don't get don't get too overconfident. That's how you end up nicking yourself. Yeah, I don't like. I don't like that the blade is rattling down, rattling inside the. Yeah, it's 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 in. I think I got the angle correct. All right, let's do uh, against the grain. Yeah, and the scent of this holy cow uh, soap is a. Uh, it is like a fresh, um, not really a fresh soap scent. Now it is on my face. It's more of a fresh cologne scent. Um, so if, if you're into like a, you know, polo green, you know, or, or, or one of the, uh, or one of the old fresh El Gucci scent, that's what it, it smells more like. Uh, it's not really, it's not really a. Uh, fresh uh, soapy smell but it is a fresh cologne smell so, uh, you know, yeah so the uh, donkey donkey milk donkey milk whey water buffalo <laughs> milk and whey we'll buy some tallow so Now, is it a gimmick? Um, I mean, it works. I mean, it's, it's very slick. Uh, Price-wise, it's, it's, it's around the same price as True Fit and Hill. Uh, to kind of give you a, uh, an idea. So, yeah, okay, against the green. Yeah, if I was gonna pay three hundred ninety nine dollars for a for a razor, it's just, it's not gonna be the one blade. It'll probably be a de you know, a de blade that's uh you know a custom made for that price. It's got to be custom made. It's got to be a one off or you know. It works. 
definitely here and feel it. Doing its thing. Let's try it on the unnecessary pass. Now, of course, I do use warm water to splash my face. The warm water opens up your pores. Alright, here we go. Now hopefully everybody is enjoying the Labor Day weekend. We'll see how many uh, body count comes out of Chicago, <laughs> Atlanta, Memphis. And the one thing that I would like to see Trump get rid of is this internet tax. You know, if I'm ordering from a company that's in New Jersey, <clears throat> I shouldn't be paying New Jersey tax. Uh, you know, uh, the problem is, of course, the, the uh, not only are you paying tax, but you're paying shipping. Uh, you know, a lot of company <clears throat> don't have the pull like Amazon, where, and of course, Amazon, you, you, you know, you, one, you got to be a member. Be a member and everything is ship free, or two, you gotta you gotta purchase a set certain amount of uh, of uh, of uh, price range. Then it's free, but you know a lot of company can't afford that. No, I haven't used. Does it feel like a disposable? Um, you know, I haven't used disposable in so long. I really can't tell you. A little clump right there. Four bucks, it ain't bad. Now I wouldn't not if, not if I was gifted the three ninety nine or the uh, platinum or not platinum but the uh, titanium four ninety nine one. I definitely wouldn't turn it down. This is mild enough to where it could be an everyday shaver. A little bit hard under the nose though. So especially if you got a, a long German nose, uh, you, you might, because you know, of the angle, it's, it's, it's kind of high up. And, well, you know, if you're a liar and you got Pinocchio nose, you know, that's a. Okay, let's rinse off. Now for the last rinse, I use cold tap water. Just to close my pores back up. Of course, it's cold tap water, so, you know. But uh, yeah, that, that scent, I don't know. I mean, I mean I, I, like I say, it's nothing to do backflips over. <laughs> but it is a nice, old fresh <coughs> cologne scent. And, uh, I, I like the scent, don't get me wrong, um, <clears throat> but the theme of 1776, now maybe they should have thrown some, uh, <clears throat> I think another olive oil, I don't know, let's see here. Well, maybe they should have thrown some olive oil in here to give it that antique, <laughs> a little bit of the antique smell. Now there's no olive oil in this. <clears throat> um, there's a, 
cocum butter, mm, sea butter, <coughs> potassium, sea butter, and then if we got no. <coughs> but uh, let's see here. All right, so let's uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do the quick. Yeah, because I got some other. <coughs> Towel back this place. Let's do all right. I'm gonna do post shave today because I got some I got some new uh <clears throat> aftershave balm. Of course, I still have my uh, uh get your whole face. Witch hazel is healthy for your whole face, not just the shaving area. Yeah, I still got my old uh, Saint Clair, and uh, it's 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 um, you know it's getting there. It's Let's see here. Let me rinse off that. that. Dab my hand off. So I got here is eleven. Yeah, the company uh, the company is eleven. Uh, yeah, eleven. <clears throat> is uh, amber, patchouli, and oak. And it's aftershave balm. It comes in a little squirt bottle. Okay. Let's see here. Should. Well, okay. Kind of, kind of splats out onto your hand. It's kind of a cinnamony smell. Yeah, this is my first use. Get your neck area because that's where you also shave. Just get my forehead. Yeah, this stuff is not only is it good again, not only is it good for your area that you shave, it's also good. For, it's also whatever they put in. <clears throat> you know, if you look at the ingredients, it's like, hey, this is uh, this is actually good for s just skin all around. <laughs> no. Yeah. So. <clears throat> so it's kind of a cinnamon, cinnamony smell. It's probably the amber that's giving giving it that 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 sim that uh, cinnamon smell. Uh, <clears throat> so so if so if you're if you don't like the cinnamon smell, you know, I, I only like it during the, during the Christmas season. And, uh, other than that, I'm like yeah okay I'm <clears throat> you know. I don't want to smell cinnamon, and of course they already got you know, the cinnamon scented stuff out at the stores, and, uh, and I'm there. I'm like, man, what's what does it smell like cinnamon in here? It's like, oh, it's a big old pile of display of uh, you know cinnamon scented stuff for for the uh, I guess autumn season coming up. So uh, yeah, not 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 bad. It's a uh, my face does feel tingly, but it's probably the it's probably the the aftershave aftershave balm. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, <clears throat> all right. So, uh, yeah, the the, uh, the one blade core. <clears throat> I guess is their entry level their entry level blade, and I guess the next one up is like three ninety nine, uh, from twenty four dollars, twenty three dollars. I forgot how much I paid somewhere around there. 399 bucks to their top of the line 499 bucks uh, I definitely recommend it I recommend it for first-time shavers it is a mild razor it's, it's very forgiving I, I didn't feel like at any time I was gonna rip my face off so uh, so yeah uh, mm -hmm. and um, <clears throat> yeah I could have ran and got one of one of my DE razors to do the, uh, the last unnecessary pass because uh, I can I can still kind of uh, feel stubbles on my face, <clears throat> but it's good enough. You know, if, if you gotta go into the office every day and you gotta be clean shaven because you face customers, uh, th this would work. Uh, you 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 know by 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 the time you go home, you no, know, the five o'clock shadow will probably be creeping in, but um, you know it it's smooth enough. Uh, <clears throat> holy cow! <laughs> Uh, 1776 shaving soap 
And see, so this one is around the same uh, same price as True Fit and Hills, around that twenty-five to thirty dollar range. And uh, <clears throat> and 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 um, I can see I can see why uh, they charge that because of the of the extra donkey milk, <laughs> donkey milk whey, you know, water buffalo milk, water buffalo whey, bison tallow. Uh, so <clears throat> so they got all the extra. Uh, you know, they had to go out of their way to get all these extra ingredients. Um, you know, the, uh, I don't know of, of, uh, of too many uh, donkey farms here in the U.S., but there are people who raise donkey in the U.S., and they do sell the milk. Uh, and, and I assume if there's a guy that's raising water buffalo in the U.S., yeah, he's probably making, I'm assuming, making a little extra money on the side, selling, selling water buffalo milk. Uh, but, uh, yeah, but... Uh, <clears throat> I definitely recommend the holy cow. Uh, all the other lines that I've gotten are, are, are fantastic. You know, slick. <clears throat> well, it's slick gives you protection. Um, it just depends on the scent that you want. Uh, Eleven aftershave balm uh, comes in a squirt bottle. Uh, the the amber, patchouli, and oak. And um, I think in the U.S. you can still use real oak. Uh, in 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 uh, cosmetics, it's just over it's just over in Europe that they they decided that um, you know because of you know people developing a allergen to oak mosque or or uh, I'm assuming that's oak mosque I don't know if it's oak as in like oak tree so 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 some 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 body what is it's not a governing body it's more like a self governing body kind of like the FIA. Uh, <clears throat> of, of, of fragrances it's kind of like the FIA of fragrances decided that uh, you know uh, you cannot use real oak moss you have to use the the fake oak moss in your um, <clears throat> cosmetics rather the cologne perfume you know stuff to put on your, your you know lotions and stuff like that but uh, the US is not they don't they, they don't have authority <laughs> over the US so in the US you can still use real oak moss <clears throat> so uh, yeah, so yeah, you you uh, I, I could probably do a second shave with the with the lather that's left on the uh, in the bow and on the <clears throat> on the <clears throat> yeah that cinnamon smell is really is really hitting uh, like I said it's probably the amber and the patchouli uh, combined that's giving that's giving that that cinnamon smell so again if you don't like cinnamon don't don't get that particular scent from Eleven. Uh, but other than that, uh, I recommend all of the products. The, the One Blade Core it is not the One Blade; it's called One Blade. I kept calling it the One Blade. But anyway, One Blade Core uh, definitely recommend it. Beginners will be safe. You're not going to Freddy Krueger yourself. Uh, holy cow! Seventy seventy seventeen. Not seventy seventeen seventy six. Uh, you, you, those of you who don't know, that is our year of Declaration of Independence of the U.S. from England, our, our uh, you know, uh, our oppressor, <laughs> using using S SJW uh, uh, um, tactic. Yeah, we we declare our independence from our oppressor, England. Uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, colonizers. It's like man, look, everybody <clears throat> has gotten their ass kicked and colonized. Uh, anyway, don't want to get in, into into that too much. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, definitely throwing this box into the recycle bin. And yeah, so so yeah, stay safe. You know, uh, you probably won't get sick. It's just basically a virus. Uh, COVID nineteen is basically a virus flu. Uh, but if you do, just take your vitamin C, take your hydro hydroxychloroquine. Stay out of the riot zone. Uh, unless it comes to your city and you are like, hey, I gotta defend my city, uh, but, don't, but don't do like those knucklehead, uh, uh, you know, driving, you know, from five states away, you know, things like that. You know, don't be like Antifa and Black Lives Matter, uh, yeah, you know, because the feds supposedly got like a thousand plus federal arrest warrants that they're going to be serving up, and uh, the feds will find you. Uh, trust me, they they they, <laughs> they got ways. All right, well, uh, thanks again, and uh, you have a good one.